All right, Elijah, thank you. Uh, joining us now on the phone is Pete Bonacorso. He is a local Red Cross volunteer from Fairport. Uh, he is in North Carolina as part of the response for Hurricane Florence. Uh, Pete, thanks for joining us. You're in Raleigh, and you say you've stepped outside. What are the conditions like where you're at? Yeah, I'm outside right now, and uh, it's it's pretty windy, and uh, the rain's starting to come down pretty good. So it's not that, it's not that bad, though. So uh, are you, at this point, on standby? I'm on standby right now. Uh, we're waiting to... Uh, so it passes to uh, get orders to what areas we that need the most help right and, now. And Pete, you have one of the emergency response vehicles with you. What will you do with that once right. you get your orders? So once I get the orders to go out, uh, we'll GPS the areas to go to, and uh, if safe enough, we'll go in these areas and start feeding people to, with the vehicle. Uh, we're, we're carrying food and uh, possibly supplies and uh, whatever's needed. To, you know they determine all right what is, what is your biggest concern with this storm well right now is uh, i'm hearing a lot about flooding so there's there's so much we can do we can't really go into a flooded area as, if it's over you know the rims of the, the vehicle so that's a that might be the hard part is getting to the affected areas Pete, you have some, you have some experience in these situations. You were in Houston last year helping the response to Harvey. What can you take from that experience as you anticipate uh, assisting folks with Florence? Well, um, yeah, I went down to Harvey. That was after the, after the hurricane, but uh, you know there was uh, devastation down there, and uh, I was working to uh, help people in shelters at that point, and uh, it was it was. Pretty sad, actually. Uh, we did a lot of help, though. You know, handed out a lot of a lot of things that were needed, and uh, fed a lot of people. And, now, Pete, you know, we, put them up in shelters. We heard from um, one couple uh, just a, a couple minutes ago who decided yeah. to stay, even though they were ordered to evacuate. What's your advice from all of your experience to people who who've been ordered to evacuate? Well, I did, I, if I wasn't down here as a relief uh, with the Red Cross, I I wouldn't be here. Um, I definitely would, uh, would if I lived down here. I'd evacuate for sure. All right, well, stay safe and thank you so much for yeah. for all that you're doing. Keep on a course. Oh, no, no problem. Yeah, Red Cross volunteer uh, locally here from Fairport, helping with the Florence response. We appreciate your time this morning.